Hey guys, welcome back to Wendell Fishing. Darren here, and I got good news for you. I do not work for Native. I am not an affiliate of Native, and that way you know you're gonna get an unbiased review of the Native Slayer Propel 10 behind me. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Hey, this channel is for all things fishing. I especially love kayak fishing, and you'll see I have a ton of videos. You can check those out in the cards. Uh, if you like this type of thing, please hit that sub and bell notification, and I will keep them coming. All right, let's hop into this kayak. All right, let's start with the good. I stand in this thing all of the time. And for reference, I weigh about buck 80 and I'm about 5'11". The reason it's extremely stable is because it has a flat pontoon style hull and it handles like a boss. I haven't fallen once or I don't even believe I've even like been close to falling. Next, we've got the scupper holes and plugs. Uh, now I think things are out here in case you get a lot of splash and you can drain the water out. However, if you take the plugs out, I find that you get more water in your yak. There's eight of these scupper holes. I also think they help with uh, the structure of the kayak. Um, so it goes all the way through the kayak, comes out the other side, and it helps keep big giant plastic mold together. Also, it's got some nice gear tracks all around this yak. You got some two in the front. Uh, I use this front one for my camera. I run a boom sometimes. It goes way out here. Uh, and it holds it just fine. I mean, I, I'm dangling a $250 camera out over the water. And so uh, I trust these. Uh, you got two long ones on the side, a couple more down here. These are actually for the seat, the slide back and forth, depending on your height. But man, I got my transducer arm on them. Uh, I created a mod for my fish finder. I usually have the fish finder right here and run the cables to the hatch. Here I have two Pro Omega Yak Attack rod holders. And this is super solid. I've never had anything bend. I mean, these things are these things are awesome. I uh, also got some gear tracks back here. These things hold a ton of weight because uh, as you can see, I have my landing gear back here and I attached them to the gear track. And essentially the entire weight of the kayak is on these gear tracks and it doesn't rip out. So they must be reinforced really well down in the hole. So it must be a great design. So great job native. And of course uh, I attach with some sh uh, shot cord and a kayak crate with rod holders. If you don't have one of these, you want one of these. I created a video, I'll throw it up in the cards. You can make one your yourself. I think I made mine for under $35. Next we have the propel drive. This is the best thing about the entire kayak. Uh, solid design, built tough. I've had no problems except for this, this Allen bolt coming out a little bit while I was kayaking, but I always keep tools. I keep a tool for every single thing I have on the boat. And so all I had to do is tighten it back up. Um, and I guess you could put some Loctite in there if you wanted to, but man, not an issue at all. I love fishing with propel drive. Uh, I didn't like the pedals that it came stock with. Uh, I bought a $20 or $25 pair of uh, mountain bike pedals that I put on. Uh, they came with plastic ones, so that was kind of a bummer considering how much you pay for these things. They're pretty expensive. So uh, I think if you buy one of these motors, I think I saw them running 800 bucks. It didn't come with a weed guard also, so I found one that was 3D printed. Uh, I believe now they, they, the newer models do come with weed guards and I heard reviews that they are pretty good. The only con uh, on this propel drive is that they're pretty difficult to work on. If you need to, they require a spanner wrench, which can run you a pretty penny. Uh, there's some hacks out there, but my advice to you, um, don't open this thing up if you don't have to. Um, there should be a little play before in the forward and reverse. I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, just a little bit of play. My dad's a machinist. I was kind of worried when I first got it. I was like, this is a lot of play right here, forward and reverse. And he's like, oh, don't worry about that. There needs to be a little bit of play or a lock up. So he's been a machinist for 20 years. So I'm gonna I'm gonna trust in him. All right, now the seat. The seat's comfortable. I'm constantly up and down in this yak. I, I literally fall back into the seat, and it's been holding up fairly well. You can easily set the recline on this with the straps on the side. I wanted the seat actually be a little higher. You can actually tell I have some seat risers. Uh, I wanted the seat risers one because I wanted to be a little higher up in, in the kayak, uh, but two I wanted to fit some storage underneath. And these things are incredible. If you pull these out, um, just easy. So you don't have to turn around and get. Into your kayak crate it's easy storage and you can't do that if this is really far down here and really low if you're interested in this i'll put a uh, link in the description below all right we got the hatch uh some good space in here over not very easy to access if you're out in the water uh, but this is where i keep my batteries i run all my light wires to here and here's also where i hook up my tether rope i mean uh, where else are you gonna put a hatch they're never really accessible so i can't complain too much i'm not a huge fan of the design of just kind of this you kind of push over um, push this over the edge there and it kind of snaps on. Sometimes it's really difficult and I run a ton of wires. So I guess a better design to have some type of waterproof place where the wires can go in. I've seen better designs for hatch covers, but nonetheless, uh, it does keep it nice and watertight. So I can't complain too much. I mean, it's a hatch. 
All right, next you have the center console. This thing's really nice. Uh, it's, it's held down on some shot cord, which you can throw around these little hooks here. Um, it, I love this because it fits my Yeti um, cooler. I have a bunch of coffee in there every morning. And then you can take this off really quick, pull up your motor, and which you'll be doing often if you're anything like me, because I'm constantly um, pulling this off, pulling up my motor, and getting uh, all of the uh, lily pads, the milfoil, the coontail out of my motor. Uh, and then putting it down. I can do that with a matter of seconds. So pretty nice, solid. As you know, having a little bit of space just to throw some hooks, being able to throw your lures when you're changing them out instead of constantly having to put them back. Um, it's a really easy place to do that. So um, good design here. So far, it's been fairly good. Uh, however, now we're getting to the ugly, the steering system. Oh man, I'm not a fan of the steering system. Uh, I'm not sure who is. First, it came with stock metal cables, which if you follow any of the pages for native, uh, it tends to see the whole snap. Uh, in just a matter of time. So this is why I upgraded to the Berkeley Pro uh, steering. It replaces the metal cables with Dyneema cord and it works, uh, but I'm still not a fan because the steering is just, man, this is, look at the play on that. It's just pretty sloppy. Um, there's there's way too much play in the handle and uh, all the moving parts are plastic. I mean, I follow a native pages and I can't tell you how many photos of broken handles I see. Most end up upgrading uh, their steering and rudders to using rudders to boondocks. Uh, also the stock rudder is uh, not long enough in my opinion. It takes too long to turn and my opinion needs an extension which is what I did here. Now let's talk about the body of the kayak. I've been in a variety of kayaks and the cheap ones are just that thin and cheap. So you get what you pay for here. Uh, it's a nice solid kayak haul reinforced with all the right places in the front along the gear tracks. I have my sidekick on the far back like I mentioned earlier. Um, it's unusual to have it on the back here. Usually people will place it a little bit further um, right next to it, but I, I just like how my kayak crate fits in there. So I have it back toward the back, which does create a lot more weight on this, but it's been holding up just fine. So body, not too bad. Comes with the nice solid handles right here and I like the foam grip. Um, makes it doesn't hurt as much and you got a couple more on the side. Uh, I use the other side. It actually it fits nicely on my fish grips and I just simply attach it here and this is where I leave it um, so it doesn't move. So it's a perfect kind of uh, width to hold on to that fish grip to kind of keep it out of my way. So great handles, great solid design and these things are heavy duty. All right, the rest of what you saw and maybe in the video that I didn't talk about, I have another video for. Uh, it talks about all the modifications that I did for the kayak. So I'll throw those up in the cards. You can check that out if you want to. All right, so what grade do I give this kayak? Well, you know what? I, it could be an A. However, the rudder and steering system, um, kind of a bummer. And since that's a pretty important part of fishing kayaks, uh, I give this kayak a B. My word of advice as a consumer is if Native could fix the steering and rudder system on this kayak, it would be an incredible kayak it wouldn't take much dyneema cord instead of metal cables uh, a metal steering handle instead of the the plastic and then an extended rudder maybe even a metal rudder and man you got yourself a fantastic fishing kayak yes you can upgrade all the things i just got done talking about cord however it's expensive and it's annoying on principle considering that you just got done spending a lot of money on the kayak that stuff should come stock in my opinion and so that's why i give this kayak a score of a b hey i hope this helped you out if it did please help me out hit that like button let me know if this has brought value to you and i will continue to keep content like this coming your way hey thanks everyone see ya bye